what's Hi. freaking up? It's we didn't read it. Who's here today? Mm, I'm seeing Aiden on my left. I'm seeing Ryan on my right. I'm seeing Julia down my eyes. I'm seeing Julia on my left. Yup. And I'm Tommy. I'm going to take my shirt off. I feel yes. loose as hell. I'm loose AF. That's why Tommy's, you might notice that Tommy has sunglasses on because he's feeling chill. He's feeling just a little goofy. For the uh, viewers that on who the aren't viewers? viewing it, <laughs> for the <laughs> listeners who have ears, I am just wearing sunglasses right now. Do you guys wear sunglasses when you drive? I don't like the colors I'm seeing to be dimmed. I feel like that defeats the purpose of sight. But I mm. do feel like a bad bitch when I wear my sunglasses. What about sunglasses that make everything brighter? That's a good idea. Mm. Oh my God. It's like a hearing aid, but for your eyes. Mm. They oh my God. They that. You've ever seen, you've seen the inspirational TikToks where they put them on someone who's blind and they're like, <gasps> yeah. And they take them off. And they're like, <laughs> not for you. And then they step on them not and they for you. They say, this is what we have all the time. Yeah, and they're like, whoa, balloons, they're so colorful. Yeah, I watch those videos when I get down. Who's on Hope Core TikTok? I bet you guys are not. I'm on Dread Core. They're on, <laughs> yeah, Cynic Core. You're not on Hope Core. I don't know what Tommy's For You page looks like. Mine is exclusively those really creepy videos from the North Sea. Yo ho. Those yeah. ones? Those are so scary. I love them. Uh huh. <laughs> they just calm you down? They don't calm me down, they rile me up. Okay. He watches those to get up in the morning and to go to bed at night. Uh huh. And in the middle of the day, I don't watch any of them because if I do, then I'll go to bed. Yeah. That messes with his circadian rhythm. That's yeah. the only thing that keeps him on track. I'm like a um, cicada. Do you guys have a time during the day allotted for TikTok? We have a friend who schedules everything to the T. Who's that? Or we can cut his name. We'll bleep his name. We're not. Well, you're not going to tell me? We'll bleep it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got this friend. He schedules everything to the T. His name. All right. You can keep that one in. He, he, that's my friend. I can't believe you guys have a friend of the same name. I try not to go on TikTok right when I wake up or right when I go to bed. But if I'm yeah. pooping. Right. If I'm pooping, right. I get excited because I'm like, I get guilt free TikTok time. If I'm pooping, I get excited, but for a different reason. You mm. gotta get it out. Because it's coming out? Yeah, well, it's not excited. It's more stressed out because if I don't get it out all within two minutes, then a lot of people are, are uh, you know, harassing me. They're on my ass. He poops with a crowd. Huh? He poops with the crowd? I poop for the crowd. For his company. He's a real showman. You should watch him. <laughs> yeah, guys. It's I his like to be there. <laughs> Ryan, you need to stop watching him. Uh, Yeah, you tried ripping me away from that, me and the hundreds of others who are watching. Not only is Ryan watching, he's timing. Yeah, there's a stopwatch. He that should be notes. an Olympics. Ryan sport. gives notes. This week we didn't read Fahrenheit 451. That's hot. Oh, snap. That's hot. Fahrenheit 451. To quote Paris Hilton. That's hot. That's hot. Our story takes place in a future American society in which books are outlawed. Guy Montag is a fireman meaning it's his job to find books and burn them. His boss, Captain Beatty, formerly an avid reader, now hates books for their unpleasant content and contradicting opinions. One night after work, Guy is joined by his new neighbor, Clarice, a 16-year-old girl whose inquisitive nature makes her unpopular at school. The two walk and talk after Guy's shift. Guy, how was your shift? It was okay. It was so-so. You can tell her how it was. It was so-so what? It was the greatest shift of my life. You had the greatest yes. shift of your life? I had That's the greatest so shift of my life. Tell her who you met. I met the, I don't, I don't want to name drop, but are you familiar with the book Harry Potter? What? You met Harry Potter? That's so crazy. Wait, but that's illegal. He can't be I know. here. I, the movie the characters from books are outlawed. What? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So he can't be here, but I met him. Just a regular guy, me. It's Whoa! a regular chap, me. Harry? Are you Harry? Keep your voice down. I'm sorry. People have told me I'm too loud and happy. Harry, you need to keep your hat on, okay? I know you've been growing your hair out and you want to show it off. But if someone sees you, they're going to put you to death publicly by stoning. Stoning's very popular these days and you'd be the first to go. Excuse me, I'm just doing my routine checks, making sure there are no fictional characters of literature. Hello, officer. Yeah. 
two, three normal humans. Three normal guys hanging out. Well, you guys seem to be acting natural and mm-hmm. not acting yeah. completely, sir. Not, not acting completely. Are you natural. British? Completely. No, we like to do fake accents. We sometimes. like to do oh, fake yeah. accents. Oh, okay. All right. So, I mean, I've heard you two do your traditional, normal American accent. How about you? What's your American accent? Your natural accent. My natural accent sounds like, um, hey, I'm walking here. Oh, wow, yeah, no, that was really good. Hey, gay. I'm a guy from uh, New York City. Yeah, the, I mean, oh, no. that's weird because we're He's in actually Topeka, Kansas, but... Yeah, I'm just kind of a regular guy. I uh, like to play uh, video games, and uh, I like to keep my imagination to a really kind of simple... Narrow scope. Wow. All the way from Al Pacino to Robert De Niro in one sentence. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's crazy for a Kansas uh, citizen. I'm just kind of a regular guy like you. Okay. Hey, you know what I can't stand? In literature. All right, I think you got it. Me neither. We hate literature, and this is a regular dude. That's right. What's your least favorite part about literature on the count of three? Indexes. Too much hope. Snape. (laughs) Wait. Hold on. Give me one second with my friend. What are they talking about? You talked about, you mentioned Snape. Again. I don't know. I don't know what came over me. You can't mention Snape. Snape cannot be mentioned. Okay. 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 No Snape. No Snape, Snape is not real. No. Snape is not real. No. Okay. You're up. I put an X here. I'm distracting by playing tic tac toe. Okay. okay. Great. Uh, there's an O. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I gotta. Oh, get a you're so good. You beat me again. I gotta get a real close look at this. You paper. beat me I'm, again. My eyes are on that paper. Sorry, I got distracted by uh, this little this little uh, spider on the ground over here who seems to be speaking. You're an officer who's distracted by a speaking spider? Yes. Yes? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's ah. my friend Roger. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry. I, I forgot I turned him into a spider. What? Hmm? What? What? Huh? He's joking. Huh? He does improv. <laughs> he likes to do spontaneous improv. I just Prop started. Comedy. There's another spider over there. And oh, I crap. Be, Abracadabra. Through web language. <laughs> Harry, he's going for your hat. Oh, no. You guys seem to want me to take his hat. No, is that what I'm reading here? Don't. I don't touch need your hat. No, feel free. You said your name is. You said your name is Harry. Here's the deal, Harry. All right. I'll take I'll take that. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh! What a hideous Oh my god! Scar. Oh, and you, you decided to take off your sunglasses too just to help me out and really show me that. that it's d- not Scar Harry there. Potter! I've, I don't know. I don't read books. Listen, here's the, here's the deal. Um, Harry, he visited me at work and he was kind of a piece of work. Uh, he's kind of hairy, so I was kind of hoping he, he would get caught. Oh, okay. I can get behind that. Yes. I share all the opinions of my author. Uh, Every single one! Oh! <laughs> Harry lists those opinions as Guy and Clarice slip away. When he arrives home, Guy notices his wife, Mildred, on the floor, unconscious. She has overdosed on sleeping pills. He calls for medical attention, and two EMTs arrive. Oh no, I've overdosed on sleeping pills. I got a case of the... I'm having a great slumber. Excuse me, Mildred, are you... Oh, you seem to be doing really oh, well. Oh no, I've, I'm only doing incredible. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, I'm your EMT that your husband Guy called. Guy? Hey, yeah, this is my, this is my wife, Mildred. Hey. I just wanted, to, I wanted you to come and check on her. Uh, she took a lot of sleeping pills and she's still up. She seems like she's doing <laughs> so. absolutely fantastic. New record. Yeah, I'm no. I she's fine physically. I'm concerned. That's why I'm concerned. <laughs> it's a heroic dose. There's yeah. three empty bottles on the ground. Knock, 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 Honestly, knock. it was just harder to get them down I'll more so than door. processing it. It was just knock, 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 I hate swallowing pills. Hello. Would you like to buy some wakey pills? Not now. Do you say wakey pills? Yes. These are for when you're having such a great s- time on sleeping pills, but you want to stay awake to enjoy it. So you take these, and then you stay awake, Dory. Give me one of these. I'm falling asleep right, of, right away. Go, I mean, right hey, I feel like I shouldn't, but I'm curious now. Aren't you a trained medical professional? <sighs> yeah, Getting but tired. she's killing it. Getting tired. She's, like, plastered to the Just ceiling Just one bottle? Right one bottle, that's it? Yes, that'll be $30. <laughs> that's nothing. Hun, give her the cash. Mildred, can I ask you a question? What's up? What's your... Goal. Like, is this recreational or you couldn't sleep well? Ideally, GoPro make a career out of it. GoPro. Out of sleeping? Mm-hmm. Out of sleeping. Sleep. sleep Honey, uh, Mildred, bro. you're never going to do it. I I'm a sleep fluencer. So, oh, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you get brand deals? Do you live stream your sleep? Oh, li- that's yes. what it is. I live stream my sleep. Yeah. Well, I live stream but you know what that means? You live stream my sleep too, honey, and I'm not okay with that. The camera's fine. It's just the guy that 
films are sleep that yeah. he's not a big fan talk, of. Talk, yeah. talk, talk. Hey, I'm here for my shift. <clears throat> uh, is this him? <laughs> yep. And uh, I'm rolling. Oh, we're going right now? Uh, oh, honey, we have to get to I'm bed. I'm not even tired. What's, oh, what's the bummer is he works it's on his own PM. hours. <laughs> we can only book him. He's busy. So you have like 223 followers. Do we need, is this really necessary? Oh, I just checked 222. Eat your words, hun. Is that one less? Is it this or a divorce still? Is that the deal? Shh. Zoom in on your face. Can we, can we cut for a second? You look really angry. Can we cut? People are going to love this. Oh, he's back to sleep. At this rate, Mildred's health is really um, at risk. I've but just got an insane cocktail in my head right now. <laughs> Okay, if you could go to sleep and get naked, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> That's the other thing that he takes a bit of an issue with, is that only he has to get naked. Oh, oh yeah. you don't get naked? <laughs> no, I don't get naked. Oh, mm. the patriarchy. So we have two accounts. Mine has 222 followers. His has 137,000 followers. Oh, no way, but he's not even, he doesn't even love it. And I'm not even it. into it. I manage that one. You manage it? <laughs> yeah. You're manager? Yeah, I manage it. That's the deal we split. I said we won't pay. We, his payment is he takes all the revenue from his thing, and we, but we get to keep all the IP trying to make right. a movie. And we make about um, uh, $20 a month. You make $20 a month? You make about $20, and I give him half of that. So I give him $10 a month. God, right. I got to stop having these general oh, could meetings you? with all the streamers. I'm not going to do the naked sleeping movie. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. Okay. But the problem is they're not adapting any of these books anymore. All they want is, oh, a movie about a person who actually goes to sleep in real life. That's totally. Not, Sorry, and what, what again is your role in this? You're I'm the EMT? I'm the EMT <laughs> who came to check on you. But if I'm being completely honest, my dream is to be an agent. And uh, I'd love to help you adapt this sleep fluencer thing. Oh, you don't want to adapt it. No, it's gonna bring in so much money. Ugh, I'm gonna. Ugh, everyone's gonna know. Who I, ugh, everyone's gonna you know. Who I love am. love capitalism. Capitalism is my fifth least favorite thing in the entire world. Oh yeah. No way. List them. Run us through the other four. Okay, but could you cut for this, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm not rolling. You're not rolling. I'm not rolling. Is that red? That red dot means no. He's rolling. Not rolling. Yeah, that red that dot means, means no. Yeah, you see the tape okay. you put on there that says not rolling. Red tape means not rolling. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. You guys ready? Yep. I'm going to talk in a really low voice for this so you don't hear most of them or so you don't so nobody else can hear. Okay. So my fifth least favorite thing is well, I don't even remember. You said it was capitalism. Capitalism. My fourth least favorite thing is neoliberalism. Okay. My third least favorite thing is liquid. My second least favorite thing is analog clocks and people who prefer them. And my okay. first least favorite thing is so horrifically horrendous, I can't even say it out loud. Oh my gosh, I hate supercomputers. Hon, I'm not, these sleeping pills are doing nothing for me. I'm just going to pull out my ebook and go to sleep. My fifth, uh! oh, oh. As Guy tucks himself in, he is consumed by subversive thoughts. What Clarice said to him resonates with him so much that at work the next day, he steals a book off the shelf of an old woman's home they're burning. The firemen order the old woman to vacate her home so that they can set alight all the kerosene that they've dumped. The woman refuses, lights a match, and burns herself alive. You can't take my books. I won't have it. Oh my god, she's talking through the fire. I That's why am she sounds very like that. hot. Oh, she's glowing. And I will read more books. Does she know that she's about to die? Put a book in front of Hi. me. I can't see. Hi, I'm the doctor, ma'am. Hello. I'm here to take your temperature. I'm very hot. Oh, my God. It's my Fahrenheit. body's engulfed in flames. It's Fahrenheit 451. All right, good oh, podcast, guys. Wow. Who's her temperature? Ow. Why are they burning? Mr. Fireman, why are you burning my book? Ma'am, we need you to jump. I don't want to. I'm afraid of ice. Does anybody here know, like, any basic levitation spells or anything that we could get this woman down? From the first floor. Yeah. But you better not be a fictional character. But you would be a hero. Somebody save my book. She's dying, and she wants her books to be saved. I'm six foot. Is that scary to you? You're too tall. You're afraid of heights? Yeah, you're too. I'm afraid of the heights, including the height of six foot. Oh, oh she's not of people's Okay, heights. 
So she's not okay. afraid of being up high. She's afraid of tall people. General heights. Is anybody small that we can get in there? I have a child. I know a certain actor slash character that is known as relatively short in the fil- in the films. Oh, I love books. Where is oh, he? He's gonna come out. Or her. <laughs> oh, wow. Then so we're gonna, gonna go ahead and tackle that one. Ah! Whoa. I have a lovely collection of books. Somebody get them for me. Uh, guys, I don't want to do this because I know that we're going to get we're going to get uh, put in jail. And but she's clearly dying. I, I mean, she's resilient, but she's dying. I'm dead. I, oh. oh, she died. Okay. All right. Never mind, guys. No rush. We're good. <laughs> guys, here's the thing. I got to stop spending so much money on food every day, but I don't have the time to like cook every single day two minutes is all you need with factor that's really what appeals to me personally how long is your dinner cooking process taking you on a regular six six hours three four hours hours. because he likes to make each of the ingredients what i do is i saute everything have you ever sauteed milk (laughs) i want to cook i want to be one of those people who cooks and sometimes i have the time most of the time i don't have the time and because you got to cut stuff, you got to buy stuff, you got all the food I buy goes bad before I'm ever able to cook oh, with it. Yes. So I'm just throwing money away. Yeah. Um, which is why I think Factor is an excellent choice. Yeah. Head to factormeals.com slash read it 50 and use the code read it 50 to get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next month. That's code read it 50 at factormeals.com slash read it 50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. Awesome. Shook by the old woman's suicide, Guy suggests the next morning he should take a break from being a fireman. Mildred panics over the thought of losing her home and calls Captain Beatty to talk some sense into Guy. Beatty recounts how books went into decline to make way for new media and shorter attention spans. After the history lesson, Beatty issues a mild threat to Guy that if he is in possession of any books, he has 24 hours to burn them. Guy, are you listening to me? Yeah, Mildred. What's the matter? You're going to talk to Captain Beatty. Mildred. You got to. Because you're trying to, if you want to quit being a fireman, I'll, Mildred. I, I, I'll die before that happens. I need my house. I need my shows. I need my food. Oh. I need my buffet. Sounds like you need a job. I need my water park. <laughs> That's right. Hi, I'm Guy Montag. I'm changing my life. And if that ruins my wife's life, yeah, I give a shit. Beep, boop, beep. <laughs> what? You hung up. Yeah. I wasn't done. What? I'm calling Captain Beatty. We're no! gonna do yes, we no! we're doing a three way call. Ba, oh! ba, 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 ba. I wish there wasn't that last word. Captain Gah! Beatty This better be freaking important. Captain, how are you? I'm all right. I'm in the bathroom. I'm on a first date. So this, you make it quick. I have nine nine minutes. Uh, let's not bother him on a first date. No, right. he answered. I'm going to be in the Can bathroom the for the bathroom? next nine minutes no matter what. <laughs> Are you having fun, sweetheart? I thought we would go to the restaurant, not just the bathroom part. <laughs> well, you know, they we will, I will, I, there will be food coming Captain soon. Captain Beatty's a great guy. Can I speak with them? Who's yeah. on, who is that? This is my date. I, Can sorry, I speak with them? Tell them your name. I can't. Lucy Lufu. It's Lucy Lucy Lufu. Lufu. And that's Captain what I like Beatty's about great. you the most. I love you. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. It's a first date. Yeah, right. that was weird. What do you want, guys? Can you please explain to my husband no. why books are bad and why Clarence had to get hit by that car? It what? just had to happen. What did you just say? <laughs> Can you please explain? No, I heard that. Clarence got hit by a car? Clarence got hit by a car? What? Yeah. Oh, God. I owed him so much money. Thank God. Right. There's Am someone right? that side banging on the door. Can you just shut up and let me do my bathroom business? I'm just peeing. All the noises you hear are me peeing. There are a lot of metal noises. A lot I of metal on metal. I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. You gotta stop saying I love you. On I this know, date. I, Mildred. I get. Stop I, saying that to other people. Oh, trouble in paradise. I think we're gonna last a very long time, sweetheart. This is pretty exciting. Lucy Lufu. Well, guys. I gotta go, if you know what I mean. I don't. You still didn't explain why books were banned. Oh, you want to hear real quick? Yeah, give us the lowdown. Can we meet in person? No, we're doing a three-way call. Shh. You didn't. D- did you hang up? He didn't say he where. He loves knock, to hang knock, up knock, on knock, you. Knock, knock, knock. 
I'll be right knock, at your knock, apartment. Knock, I'll knock. be right there. Uh, okay. Are I you come in the bathroom? How did you find us? Okay, fine. Come in. Hi, Lucy Lou. Hey, no, Lucy let's Lou. take go outside. Hey, I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> Where did I sprinted? Wait, do you guys have my location? Yes. It's really metal in here. <laughs> yeah, it's a metal bathroom. So what? I go high end for my first dates. I go to a fully copper Can you bathroom. St stand up. You almost done? I'm up. I'm sorry, Captain B, but I think I'm going to retire. From the from the no. course, we've been talking about it, and we've decided that I don't care what she thinks, and I'm going to retire. I mean, you've been working here for what 40, 45? 45. 45. 46? years, forty seven, forty six years. So, yeah, forty six, forty five, sexy years. <laughs> and uh, look, I've I've enjoyed looking at you all those years. I gotta be honest, I've enjoyed your gaze, and they love you. <laughs> After Beatty leaves. Mildred confronts Guy about all the books he's hidden in the ceilings and elsewhere. Mildred grabs a book and rushes to put it in the kitchen incinerator, but Guy subdues her. I found all your books! My accent changed! You think you found all of them? I found 36 books! Oh, triple that number, double it, and then exponent by eight. What?! How did you do that?! That's the exact number of books I have. I'm throwing your books in the incinerator. Okay? The incinerator. I'm going, I'm in, the, I'm in. You installed what? Look, it was at Williams Sonoma, and I got the incinerator. It was very expensive. But I figured, I figured with all these books, I'd have to do something about it. So we're getting rid of these books. We're getting rid of Captain Underpants. What happened to the fridge? So the fridge had to go. <laughs> so okay. that's, that's uh, 6.561 each <laughs> 19 Book so that's, that's nineteen that's right. zeros. That sounds right. That's <laughs> six with nineteen zeros after. Wow, how you many got the exact correct amount. That's right. Yes, the big house. Regardless, now we have an incinerator. I'm finding your books. They gotta go. Okay, I'll call you in. I'll report you. Okay, I'll have them gone. Knock by the end knock, of the day. Honey, knock, there's someone at the door. Knock, Can you please get that? Knock, yes. Hello. Knock. No. Hello. Hi. Sorry, we're kind of having a domestic spat. Oh, well, that's perfect because I'm a cop. Oh! Who, who I side couldn't even I, tell by your attire. Sorry, I'm undercover. You look really <laughs> cash. I know. That's, well, look, what, if you want to sell the undercoverness, you go fully nude. That's what you do. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. I got a great business. I mean, if you're looking, if you're looking, are you feeling sleepy at all? Because uh, you could, could monetize could that for thing. for a couple, oh, two, three hours. You could monetize that thing. I can monetize this thing. We know, yeah. I mean, if you are interested in the sleep sleep for profit b industry, we're very familiar that's with it. That's like that's probably my sixth least favorite thing in the world. So no, thank no you. No freaking is it right after capitalism? I don't know who what you're talking about. Sorry, I like, well, I talk I, too much. I love cap capitalism is my third favorite thing in the what? world. Actually, yeah, probably second is probably books. You could just step right in over these not books. It's a it's a placemat entryway. Not <laughs> books. books. Okay, I'm stepping Books. over this very hard place, Matt. Books everywhere. Books. Oh, this. Okay. All right. I get it. Cop. All right. Which one Mr. of you? Mr. Cop. Which one of you cheated? Everywhere. Which one of you cheated? I. Yep. I did. I oh. Did. <sighs> that's oh, I, not why you should. That's not what we were supposed to talk about right now. Oh. Um. Were you not aware of this until I just made you aware? I apologize. Honey, are you okay? It seems like the 30 years of sleeping and awaking pills seem to be catching up to your cognitive function. When's the last time you got a minute of sleep? I have not slept in 30 years, okay? And I wouldn't trade one for the world. I would. I need sleep badly. I feel my skin is crawling inside out. I feel like I need to light myself on fire. Oh, no. Okay. I Don't heard, do that. After, I heard after about grandma. this woman. I heard about a woman. Grandma. My, Wait, are you two related? <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, my grandma. Oh. My grandma. It's his grandma. You know when, you're, when your partner has a grandma? You could call them grandma. I, it's I've my grandma. I've been single my whole life. I mean, I it's think her. It's... Our grandmother... <laughs> See, Our once grandmother, again, my husband's grandmother, who's also my grandmother. Are you blood related to your husband's no, grandmother? We Much just have more the than same that. Grandparents. Do you know how that works? No, but okay. she lit herself on fire. May I ask a personal question or two? Yes. Number one, who did you cheat with? I cheat. Cover your ears, husband. I. Knock, 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 knock. Oh no! Hi. I'll get the door. I'm Gordon. 
recorded. It's a bad time. You talked to him yet, Mildred? No, I wasn't gonna, but I found all his books. Who's this guy? This is a cop. Is this your dillweed husband? Hey. Okay, that's a cop. I've never been in a relationship <laughs> in my life. He's <laughs> very proud of being single, and then that's my husband. Yeah, go in on the husband over there. You guys are all, you guys. Shut up, I'm cop. I'm free. <laughs> I fucking hate cops worse than husbands. You have them confused. <laughs> I could burn you. I think that's what I do. Cops I think I burn, burn people. people. <laughs> that's a firefighter, jackass. A fireman. You ever read the book? Oh, I mean. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Guy rushes out in search of guidance. He visits his former English teacher, Mr. Faber. Faber confirms the book that Guy took from the old woman's house is one of the last surviving copies of the Bible. Faber gives Guy a homemade earpiece so he can provide constant guidance. So you're an English teacher? Yeah. Must be rough going these days, huh? Yeah, it's kind of, I've kind of had absolutely nothing to do. Have you had to make a career pivot? Yeah, I've pivoted to DIY publishing. DIY publishing? Yeah, it's just all kinds of nonsense. It's like uh, fucking oh, fanfic, <laughs> TikToks, fan, mostly fanfic, mostly fan fiction, uh, which is legal, which is legal because it's not fiction. Uh, you just got to be a fan and kind of there has to be some kind of romantic, erotic. Um, what's up? How are you doing? What are you? What's the matter? No one talks to me anymore. Well, I saw this really good TikTok and I was, uh, I was, I don't want to beat around the bush. So you're kind of beating around the bush <laughs> as right now. I was hoping, you know, you could write a little something for me. Write a little something for you. A little fanfic, yeah. Teacher, what is this guy doing here? Uh, that's an old student of mine. Okay. I didn't even introduce myself. I'm sorry. Hi. This Hi. is Guy. <laughs> I'm Sadie. Sadie. Uh, this is my student, uh, Sadie. I like to stay after class. Yeah, she likes to stay after class. Don't even, uh, hey, I could get you set up. I, I, I could write something for you. What are you going to write for him? That seems weird. That seems illegal. No, 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 no. It's fan fiction. Sadie, have you ever played tic-tac-toe? What is that? Yeah, you're going to want to see this. Okay, so I'll start oh with an X over here. God. Keep going. I got her. Okay, what what topic? Um, well, you should write about me. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Jesus Christ. I'm not f Well, I okay, actually Focus I would on the like tic-tac-toe. To Focus on the tic-tac-toe okay. over here, over here. It's the Lord. <laughs> I've come to you, teacher, to ask you a very important question. Yeah. Am I a fictional character from a book? <laughs> uh, everyone ready? Everyone, everybody ready for my answer? Yes. Yes. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, everyone. Type, 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 Okay, I've written some fan fiction about our Lord and the Savior. It is called The Bibble. How do you spell that? It's T H E B. Ible, I be, I be only. So Sadie, yeah. so first of all, no triangles. I know you're really going for triangles. Also, is right here, right? Yeah. So you're going over here. Yeah. That's not on the page. You're drawing Why on your desk. Why can't I draw a triangle? Uh, should we just draw watch him play the whole desk? game? Okay. Yeah, my hand is burning. Will you remove this? Your hand is It's full of boring stories. Well, I'm sort of, I'm sort of in the middle of something Wait, what now. is that? Desk. Let me read that. Oh. Oh, oh this is words. Yeah. This is book. That's what happened. That's you, what happened. Book. Some book of us is think bad. Some people believe that's what happened. The, what are you talking about? <laughs> the Bibble? Yeah, the Bibble. It's fan fiction. Read my words and hence thus forth the book shall burn for eternity. It's just something I've been working on. Yeah, it's like kind of just like words like that. Oh, there's too much hope in these pages. We need to burn this. Oh, skip to the beginning. Skip to the beginning. Okay. Go back to the beginning. Okay. On the very first day. Oh, that's awesome. There was no hope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> day two. Oh, little hope. No! <laughs> I'm feeling good. No! <laughs> we have to burn. This has to burn. Take it. No, it's a good thing. I don't even Baby. know. I don't even know how to read. They don't teach us how to read, so I don't even know what it said. When oh. I touch you, you shall be able to read. Uh. Guy heads home as the miracles are bestowed. When he arrives, Mildred's friends, Mrs. Bowles and Mrs. Phelps, 
are over for tea and to watch the parlor walls. Bored of what's on TV, Guy gets up and turns off the walls and shows them a book of poetry. This confuses the ladies and angers Mildred. What are you watching? What do you got on? Sports. No, it's just, it's just Blake Wall. It's just Blake <laughs> yeah, Wall, this is, it's like, uh, it's, it's sports if there wasn't any difference in color, hue, or light. Oh, uh, that's killer, man. Hue, saturation, or light. Who's winning? I team. am. Team. Who's team. The, who is this? Hello. I'm Mildred. My beautiful wife. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't think we've, I don't believe we've ever met. Hi, I'm the woman who's having an affair with your husband. What? Oh, did I say that out loud? No. Uh, we're just okay, having great. a good time watching the walls. She always says stuff out loud. Sorry about that. Oh, My name is Stefania, if you were wondering. And I'm the man who paints the walls. You paint the walls? Yes. Mm, and I and he is my father. So it's kind of like a four-way situation? I wouldn't be that interested. Oh. I control the programming in this town. Uh-huh. Because I'm the only one who can paint. Okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> mister, um, do you think I could get another color? No. But all the walls are painted black. Yeah. It's so dark Except in here. Except for that one. Except for that one that's orange. Yeah. It's really distasteful. I'm colorblind. Yeah. yeah. You're a colorblind painter? Uh-huh. That's kind of neat. Yeah. They said I couldn't do it. But you can do it, you but can't. it's bad. You they cannot. still say I can't. <laughs> yeah. We don't really have anything to do but look at the wall. Mm-hmm. So if there was something that was kind of interesting on it to uh, stimulate us, see, that would be cool. I got this new idea. Mm. You see this book? I mean, she's... Um, Put that book away, Dad. You see this? Th- no. <laughs> I'm just going to tape this to the wall. I can do this because I paint them. I'm going to tape it to the wall. Is that a book of poetry? Could be. Oh. Sir, you're under arrest. Put the gun down. No. Read from the book before you make any decisions. No. Books are illegal. Let me just read but you it's a one. Book of poetry. That's barely Let my literature. father read you one poem. poem, and it will change your mind. Mind. We finished each mind. other's sentences on the last word. Oh, I thought it was more of an echo sit. No, you're trying to make this four way work. It's mind. not going to work. I just want to be a part of it. Can I try? Can I see if this ma- if this makes you cry? Do you promise you won't? You will drop all preconceived notions about books and and stuff. Yeah, I will drop all preconceived notions about books and stuff. Okay. Only if it makes, makes you cry. cry. Okay. Put the gun down. We'll see about that. Ah. This is a bit of a haiku. Uh, went to the store. Did Oh, forgot gas. Darn. Darn it. Darn it. I forgot <laughs> gas. Good job, Dad. Darn it. I forgot gas. I was at the store. I should have got gas when I was at the store. But I'm I willing to bet it. this resonates with him because of... Uh, he used to do that, or he just did that recently. Gun. My voice was really high. Put the book away! Oh. If I can make you cry. Before will you, <laughs> you make any decisions about my father, let him read you one. Three, two, one. Poem. poem. My son actually wants to take this one. One. Fine, but I won't drop any preconceived notions about books. Okay. Unless you cry. <laughs> Unless I cry. Okay. Which you probably won't. Honey, books have the power to move us emotionally. We'll just and physically. See about He's pinned. that. Uh, oh no, he pissed himself. <laughs> I'm having a movement. Because <laughs> he's being moved. Yes. Darn, now uh, move me. All right. Okay. Read it. Okay, I'm going to read of from a read aloud. This one's a bit of a haiku. When I was in the fourth grade in elementary school. What do you mean a bit of a haiku? Well, it's not a, it's not a haiku. It's a bit of a it's haiku. It's a bit of a haiku. It's a nod to haiku. Just let them nod to their haiku. I rode the bus. And when I was on that bus... <laughs> I always wore my seatbelt. I was the only kid, and I got made fun of. They said, "They said we we love, <laughs> we love." <laughs> they said we we love riding the bus. We'd never. They said, "Take that seatbelt off. You look ridiculous. You look ridiculous. Take the seatbelt off." I said, "No." We. I said, "We we love being safe on the bus." Honey, shoot him! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> shoot him, honey! Okay. Shoot her. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm getting ready to be shot. I, I just need, I need to <laughs> yeah, do some movement I don't actually know how here. to work this gun. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Do you think we can distract them? Yes. I'm painting tic-tac-toe on the wall. Oh, oh. God, that's like a fun game. What <laughs> oh my is God. that? I'm giving you both a brush. You will be O oh. and you will be X. Oh, <laughs> X. <laughs> here, okay, guys, that, wrong wall. That gun. Painting oh, on the wrong okay. wall right now. Oh, you have to explain crap. the rules still. You just uh, said the O and X. This wall looks way cooler now. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Guy gets out of there and goes to the firehouse that night with one book to cover for the one that Beatty knows he stole the night before. 
Beatty reveals he was once an enthusiastic reader. You really shouldn't suck in grapes like that. You should chew, man. <laughs> Shut up! It's his retirement party. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Captain Beatty, happy retirement. <laughs> He can, if he wants to choke, don't touch him. Let him choke. Oh, he's just going to power it down. I can see it in his He's going to, yeah. Oh, Let no. him choke, okay? He's bleeding from oh, his yeah, eyes. Oh, yeah, no, he's good now. <sighs> we're going to miss you on the force. You were a, you were a dear friend, and all the, I was going to say all the gays loved you, but I don't, I don't want to do that. You don't know a goddamn thing about me. Okay. <laughs> we worked with you for a long time. I feel like we know you a little. You don't know about my past. Is this your speech? Yeah. Is this your big retirement speech? Wait, do you speech? want everyone to quiet that? Wait, can we turn the music down? I Let's think he's doing his big speech, down. guys. Honey, pass me that big kiwi fruit. No, no. Pass me the big one. Oh, no. That, that's the most. Oh, my that's God. That's such a massive uh, kiwi. We that's have a the biggest kiwi I've ever seen. Can I skin the kiwi? Uh, no, we it. don't have one. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Guys, if he wants to choke, let throat. him choke. Do not touch him. You can see it in his esophagus. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's choking. No, I don't think he's choking, actually. He's I think made his retirement speech more of like a talent show. Yeah. It's like sword swallowing, but fruit. Suddenly, a fire alarm sounds, and the two jump in the fire truck to an unexpected destination, Guy's house. Uh, you know, I used to be an avid reader. Oh, shit. What was... Oh, crap. One last ride. One last ride. Okay, do, are you? But are you? Do you, do you need the Heimlich or anything? In all seriseness, are you okay? No, I do need a we... plum though. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> His body's all lumpy with fruit. I can oh. see the kiwi cartoonishly in your neck. Oh, you know what? This is the best part. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Tasted good. What did that do? Got the flavor. It came out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can we get in the fire truck, please? Can we get in the truck? There's an emergency. Okay, let's go. Bun up, bun up, bun up, bun up. I found all 36 a, a, th a million of his books. That's a lot more than a million. Oh, my honey. God. They're all there. How'd you find them all? I haven't slept in uh, years. Oh, I guess you did the have a lot of time. The couch was yeah. full of books. The walls were full of books. <laughs> Everything wow. books. Right under your nose. Mm -hmm. Bathroom Literally. Full of books. Nose was full of books. <laughs> Pillows full of books. Mm -hmm. How did you not Remember our son stumble books? across them in all of your 30 years? I'm not very aware. Okay. See, this is a poor reflection on you. Well, no. Again, she's so delirious from these pills she's been taking that she just really doesn't have much of a sense of My reality of what's going on. Is a haze. I didn't see the books. The other day, I just I I, I fed her a plate. She ate the plate. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious plate. She requests the plate oh. often. More plates. See, this seems like a quality of life thing. Get rid of the books. They're yeah. ruining our marriage. Why don't you two go up and uh, hop on that stack of books for oh, me? Oh, honey, 224. 224. You're getting to follow her. Ow! We are asleep fluids. I don't, I don't think she knows what you're talking about. Uh, what uh, are you talking books. about? Why don't you go ahead and climb up on this stack of books, ma'am? Me? Should I light myself on fire? <laughs> don't worry, ma'am. I'll take care of that for you. Okay, I'm climbing on the books. You too, guy. My skin Get is on the books. Purple. Get on the books, guy. All right. Light them up. Wait a second. Light them up. You two are on TikTok. Oh, me? <sighs> you guys are on TikTok? Uh, yeah. Is that yeah. you? Yeah. yeah that is. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's embarrassing. Can I get yeah. a picture? I, I guess. Sure. Yeah. She, she does this thing where she takes a bunch of sleeping pills and she goes to sleep and he has to get naked. Oh, I think I've seen you. You're the guy that goes, oh, I can't sleep. Oh, ho, ho, and I'm naked. Oh, and my I, God. Yeah. This is so freaking cool. You guys come up on my For You page all the time. My yeah. kid would be freaking out. Oh, well, thank you. My kid would be freaking And we've worked together all these years. No way. And we know each other. No kidding. And I've been to your house. Uh, but I'm just realizing this now. Uh, mm -hmm. Honey, put the, the put the match down, honey. It's a... Uh, Oh, no, I'm going to drop the match. You're smiling? <laughs> I'm going to drop the match. It dropped. Okay, she dropped ah! the match. Oh, oh, no, the picture melted their skin like magic. Captain Beatty orders Guy to destroy his home with a flamethrower. Guy watches as Mildred walks out of the house and into a taxi. She was the one that betrayed him. Guy is destroying his home when Captain Beatty notices the earpiece in Guy's ear. Backed into a corner, Guy threatens Beatty with a flamethrower. Beatty mocks him, and Guy burns Beatty alive. Get in the corner, Guy. 
Why don't, right. you, why don't you go ahead and get in the corner for me? Fine, I'll get the corner. Oh, you look you don't look so big in this corner. <sighs> yep. I'm kind of uh all up in your business now, aren't I? Back in up. this corner? You're, you're spitting on my face. You Guys, I'm gonna get in the taxi. Sorry, I just wanted to say um, that's, I'm going. that's a that's a dog. Someone's walking their dog. I'm Do not go, get I'm on the dog. Get in the taxi. Do not <laughs> carry on. on the dog. Good job betraying him. She just Sorry. sat on the dog. I think she just crushed that dog's spine. Uh, dog died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you know it's a dog now. <laughs> Great. A dog okay. died. Carry on, hey carry Beatty, on. I think you're you're up here and I need you down here, all right? You're about to retire. Calm down. Come we don't on. we don't need to be killing people on our last day at work, do we? We know this guy. Yeah, he's famous. Right under our noses, this guy. Right under our noses, this guy's been reading books. You just asked for a picture with him. Can't we just move on and start? Well, I didn't reading even again? realize that he was reading books. Well, honey, honey did... you're getting in the package truck. Stay in the that's corner. A, that's a UPS truck, hon. Stay in the taxi. corner. Nope, not a taxi. Going to California. Nope, not going to California. Going back to the warehouse. I'm in the truck. Mildred, tell your husband to drop the flamethrower. Flame it. What? No. Drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part. Do that part. Throw. <laughs> What's the matter with you? It's the pills. Oh, uh, the pills. I need my wiki pills. Guy kills Beatty. Guy runs over to Faber's house for assistance. Faber tells Guy to travel to St. Louis, Missouri, where a community of book lovers are hiding. Their conversation is cut short when news helicopters and robot dogs come in. Where the helicopters? Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, the helicopter's in the house. Um, oh, no. Hey. Our conversation is being cut short. We're the dogs. Low-flying helicopters. <laughs> Get in the house. Nom, nom, nom. We're looking for Guy. Oh, God. He likes to read. Guy, what you need to do is you need to go to these people in Missouri. They'll sort you out. Guy, look at me. <laughs> Guy, you need to go down to Missouri. I know you're a big reader and probably don't want to go to Missouri, but that's where you need to go. Okay, buddy? Okay. They'll sort you out. Okay. Okay, we're going to leave you alone. If you're going to Missouri, that's fine. We're that's kind out. of an out of state Oh, it's just problem. this town that yeah. outlawed books? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Very small town. <laughs> I didn't hear about this. You yeah. should have crossed town oh, borders. Oh, no. It's not even that big of a town. So you just need to make it past the dogs and helicopters, but the dogs seem like they'll yeah, We're going to let you go. Yeah, I don't, don't can... speak for the helicopters. But no, we're... 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 so we'll let you go, but we are going to try to shoot you. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. I Wait. appreciate you giving me a heads up. Yeah, so just run with your back towards us. Okay, three, it... two. Oh, he's so fast. Look <laughs> at him. Pew! Oh, wow, look at him warming I'm up. Gonna shoot. I'm going to shoot the <laughs> ground behind him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you just killed all the dogs. Sorry, oh. dogs. That's all right. Hate it happens. Dogs. That was awful to watch. I'm going to write a book about it. <gasps> Guy sprints to St. Louis and is welcomed by the book lovers. They've each memorized a book should the day arrive that society is ready to embrace literature again. Wanting to contribute to the group, Guy contemplates the book he ought to memorize. Well, Guy, you've joined the society. Everyone here has memorized one book. Mine, Grapes of Wrath. Mine, it's Magic School Bus. Yeah, that was fucking a cop out, but okay. <laughs> I don't have a good memory. Would that take okay? you a week? I don't that? have I've a been good... working on this my life. No, that's the strategy. Mine was Good Night Moon. Nice. Oh my God. Should've you didn't have that. to remember that. is like 400 book. pages. <laughs> Hey, you did, you took that upon yourself. Let's hear your pitch. Well, Grips of Wrath is about the Great Depression. Okay. Okay? It's about a guy named Tom Joad. And yep. I don't want to get off track. If you're going to join our group of people... Yeah, guy. You need to memorize a book. Oh, just any book? No. How about this guy? <gasps> the dictionary. Oh! That's new. That, he technically memorized every book. I am the leader now. Do you have that memorized? No, I'm working on it. I got A down. That's, I that's, mean, a, that's lot. a lot. That is a lot. I have the word A down. Let's test them. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple. That is a... That is a uh, what page? Pa oh, uh, 32. Oh, so, awesome. you, so you didn't memorize the words. You just memorized the the place in the dictionary. That memorized the place in the dictionary and also the definition. Apple. Oh, really? Wow. Apple is the thing that you eat when you're hungry. Anthropology. Hmm. Anthropology. Anthropology is the thing that you study when you're hungry. Okay. Anger. Anger. Anger is the thing that you have when you're hungry. Well, that's true. God Tell damn. me. <laughs> <We're> all <laughs> we all have <laughs> crippling <laughs> anger issues. We have anger problems. Yeah. You know what I mean? We <laughs> welcome to the group. Welcome bucko. to the team. Welcome Just finish up that book. You're going to be our leader. 
And yeah, you might. You <laughs> would be in the leader. Okay. Yeah, nobody tells me how. Don't tell me how it ends. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, well, what? the dictionary. I'm terrified of Z, by the way, but don't tell me how it ends. Okay. 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 We'll, Go. we'll give you. You know, you have a few months to figure it out to read the book. You have a few months to memorize the dictionary. Go. No, you she, don't memorize the dictionary, then we have to kick you out. And we need he you he smiled mysteriously as he sucked on her nipple. And this is our That's narrator. How my book ends. Oh, okay. Suddenly, a bomber plane flies overhead and annihilates the city with nuclear weapons. That's how the story ends? So for real right now? The war has begun and ended on the same night. Guy and the Exiles managed to survive the shockwave and head to the city to rebuild. And now you know all about Fahrenheit 451. That's so scary. Wow, and that's, that's what would happen. Hmm? If what do book you mean? talk was banned. Mm, mm. That's the power of that community. This book makes me want to read more. 451 outside. What's the UV? That depends on the sun. <laughs> right? Uh, Hyde just learned what UVs are. Really? He, he thought he thought sun is sun. <laughs> and I, he was like, it was 6 p.m. He said, should I put sunscreen on? I was like, probably oh, not. Oh, let's do nothing, yeah. I don't think you need that. Oh, no. And then he Wait, said, so from did he Louisiana. Think that, like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, what? Also, he thought that like twenty four seven, it's the same. Like at midnight, you need sunscreen. I just like, yeah. get sunburned sometimes. <laughs> well, I think it's probably because when he goes out into the sun, not a weatherman. <laughs> um, yeah, that book was good. That was good. That was exciting. I think there's like a there is truly a twenty two percent chance that I learn the saxophone this summer. Mm. Really? Because we own a little tiny saxophone. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, you learn the sax, I'll learn the drums. We start a band. Mm-hmm. Okay, and who's going to be singing? Because I can't sing and sax. I like to sing. Unless Tommy I, will sing. Tommy's okay. a good Julia's singer. Julia's got a great voice, too. Oh, thanks. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so band. And then Ryan will be like... Yes. I'll, I'll do the clapping. Ryan will be in the like. audience, yeah. You teach Ryan the harmonica. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, we'll both get our... Yeah, you get one end, I'll get the other end, and then we'll meet in the middle. Oh, yeah. Every time. It'll be a long harmonica. Grace will yeah, dance. I do have a long harmonica. Yeah. Okay. This felt how long? Like in how long? <laughs> I actually have a harmonica with two sides to it. So one side you blow and one side you pull. It's like a battle. Yeah. You Oof. put two people and on it. It's the same as the long one. That's sick. Double bike. Double bicycle. Oh, oh man. Nothing, but nothing better than one thing. That's things that are meant for usually one person and they make it for two people. Let's name mm. some. Straws in a drink. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. those are fun. Just video chargers. Games. Char- the yeah. adapters where they, they got split. two, or you can listen to earbuds with two. That might not be current because nobody uses wired headphones anymore. If but. you're in a healthy relationship, a vibrator. Hey, oh, <laughs> that's super true. Oh, those really big shirts that people wear in sitcoms and cartoons. That oh, are, with like sleeves. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. That one feels like a bit of a reach. But oh, how about a, <laughs> a trench coat? Yeah. There oh. it is. Oh. Trench coat and two kids. You're getting into that theater. Let me tell you that. Um, You're getting into that show. Nine times out of ten. Motorcycle with the little guy. Sidecar. Yeah. That's a great with one. Sidecar. But that's it all comes back to transportation. Have you ever seems. seen a sidecar in real life? Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. Have you ever seen a motorcycle though? In real life? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm your host, and this was We Didn't Read It. We just didn't read it. That was We Didn't Read It when we didn't read it with you. What it boils down to is we didn't read that. And it sure boiled this week, didn't it? It on did Fahrenheit boil. 451. It was hot. Mm. Um, that was a fun one. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Follow us on our socials, American High Shorts and College Life on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And while you're at it, follow us. Follow our individual channels. Anything to avoid? Um, avoid the dark web. Potholes. Potholes and buttholes. <laughs> um, uh. And uh, that's it. Floss every night. Okay. This don't guy. avoid that. Yeah, floss every night. <clears throat> I don't. Sorry. Mm. Uh, brush every morning. Well, I don't know if you're going to get 100,000 f- subscribers on YouTube soon, but you're definitely getting a plaque. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow. Whoa. Good luck topping that. I think we go out on I that. I think that's we go good. out on that. Okay. Good have night, a good night. Everybody.